And welcome back to One Leaf Through Wayne's World. You know, I've had so many different people come to the studio, and I'm always interested in why someone got into something, how long they were doing it, what they saw the changes over the years. With me is Bob Kepka. Did I get it right? That's correct. Thank you, Wayne. From Southern Sky Painting. Yes, sir. How are you? Doing well. Okay, Southern Sky Painting. Obviously, you do painting, so we'll get into that in a second. How long are you doing it? I've been in the industry for almost 10 years now. Okay. Uh, work for another company, and then uh, uh, along with my wife Sherry, and uh, we decided a couple years ago to start our own business, and uh, so here we are with Southern Sky Paint. So, did you like you're doing? You're in the industry 10 years. Why painting? I mean, like you got to have. When I was a kid, I lost my job. I was in electronics, and I got a job as a painter. Uh, helping, I guess, and of course everybody does things wacky. So the tall guy was doing the baseboards, and I was climbing up and down the ladder doing the trim on the top. I can't figure out how a boss thinks, but we get paid, so we don't really care. Why painting? Um, it was just you know something we were in, and uh, we always wanted to have our own business. We've we've had businesses before, and uh, just a natural. Um, transgression for us to you know go on uh, continue in the painting business we had uh, some good people that we could work with and um, you know it's been uh, it's been a fun ride okay so <coughs> it takes a certain kind of person to say I'm gonna open my own business okay and leave a job where you get paid weekly was it something that you wanted to do having your own or was it um, just working for somebody just wasn't for you. What was the impetus that made you want to go into your own? Well, we've worked for ourselves pretty much our whole life. Always been, I've always been in sales. Um, Sherry's always been kind of behind the scenes, running an office okay. uh, and everything. And uh, um, we like the independence. We like to be able to travel. And uh, so, uh, you know, working for ourselves is the best solution to do that. Right. And um, we can kind of control our own destiny and. Uh, so, you know, it wasn't a hard thing. We've always, uh, you know, been in a position of uh, uh, not being afraid to take on a challenge. All right, so let's talk about what you do. You paint houses, paint rooms, paint offices. What do you paint? Uh, paint both residential and commercial, interior, exterior. Um, doesn't matter, small, you know, you know, a few rooms in a house, sometimes the complete interior, uh, exterior, whatever it might be. We also do uh, popcorn removal and uh, knockdown texture, uh, you know, prior to painting ceilings for those people that are looking to, you know, to get rid of uh, that popcorn. The popcorn. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was a weird, I, do they still do popcorn? Are people still doing popcorn? Uh, not really. Most of the builders now have, have kind of gotten away from it. Um, Everyone's going to either uh, a knockdown texture or a smooth finish. Uh, it was just the uh, a convenient way to, to get, the, get it done very quickly and efficiently uh, and cost effectively for the builders. But over time, people have kind of grown old to the uh, to the popcorn <laughs> because it, you know it looks it, it uh, there's not much you can do with it. It'll, you can't touch it; it'll fall down. Uh, once it does come loose and everything, you really can't patch it. And maintenance, repainting it is an issue. Yeah, it's you, it's very difficult to repaint um, because when you do that, even you have to really spray it. But you got to be careful. You get too much paint on it, uh, the popcorn will you know start to pull away. <laughs> it seems like a nightmare. It, that seems like a nightmare. All right. So in the time that you've been doing this, in the ten years, have you seen a change in the industry? A change in the products that we use because I mean I remember being a kid when we went to paint all right so you had to go put a primer on and then you had to wait and then you had to put your first coat on has paint evolved since then yeah it's definitely changing uh, environmentally uh, you know it's changing uh, we're getting a, all the paints are pretty much now what they call low VOC so uh, you know it doesn't have the smell and everything they're getting away from the oil paints that that used to do um, years ago on all the wood trim um, so it's definitely you know getting better and better and, and a lot of the paints are self-priming now okay so <coughs> self-priming paint let's I mean I rem and I'm just thinking of, of my past experiences where you'd go in and of course the wall was uh, brown and now someone wants to paint it uh, yellow. Okay, that's an extreme difference in color change. 
That was a very difficult thing to do back then. Is it still difficult to do? No, not really. Um, you know, the paints cover pretty well now. Uh, there are certain colors uh, when you get into the reds uh, that are a little more difficult to cover, but for the most part, with two coats of paint, you can pretty much cover uh, any color, unless if you're going from something very dark to a very, you know, to very light color. Uh, in that case, you know, we may have to uh, neutralize it prior to putting the two coats of paint on. Okay. This is your industry, not mine. Neutralizing it, meaning what? Uh, putting like a white primer on it, or like even with the with the red paints, a lot of times you got to put a gray primer on it uh, to neutralize it, so that it doesn't bleed through when you when you go to put the the final uh, color on the walls. Okay, so that gives me a great lead in to a question that has mystified people for years that are not in the industry. I live on the first floor. The second floor has a water leak. It now stains my ceiling. You cannot just paint over that stain, correct? No, the stain will come back through. You need, okay. you need to put uh, some kills on it, you know, to, to block the, uh, the water staining uh, and then paint it. Uh, Even after it dries, water stains still come through? Yeah, it'll bleed right through. So I have a water stain that's been there 10 years. Still got to put something over it. Still need to still need to neutralize. Wow, it. that's right. really kind of all right. Now we get into a little more detailed stuff, like tr doing some trim and some of that fancy work. Do you do that? Yeah, we do. Um, you go into some of these houses on the island, um, and the moldings around uh, the ceiling are like cut into, and I mean, very time consuming to do that. Yeah, you know, depending on the detail in the home. Um, yeah, it's going to be more time consuming because it takes longer to cut everything in, but it, it's not uh, it's not anything my painters haven't seen. Uh, my crew leaders and project managers have all had over 25 years experience. Oh wow! Okay. So there's pretty much nothing that they haven't seen throughout their years. Of, How big a uh, crew you have now? Um, we keep three crews busy. Oh wow! Okay. Are you still dealing with? I guess you're, that being the case, you're dealing with some big builders. Um, don't deal too much with builders. Most right. of our businesses come from the general public. Okay. Uh, just, you know, individual homeowners wanting to spruce up their home or maybe to prepare it for sale. Um, Curb appeal. Very, very Exactly. Um, so we get uh, a lot of calls from realtors wanting to uh, neutralize the house to make it make it more appealable to a potential buyer. Um, you know, and just people just looking to maintain their homes. Okay. When I was talking about you coming on on the air prior, um, somebody emailed me and says, "Do they do stuff like fences?" Yeah, we can we can paint fences. Okay. Um, uh, some said a barn, some said fence. These are the different things I got out of, out of people talking yeah. about having. I mean, we you know whether you know the, the products are made now. There's specialty products sometimes for masonry, um, you know, and but a lot of, a lot of the products can be painted on wood. You know, we have still have a lot of houses that have wood frame, then not all stucco. Um, so it, you know, it's uh, a matter of us just coming out, looking at the project, and trying to determine what you know what product will best fit the needs. And you know, uh, there's things that you know I've never seen before, and that's I reach out to the representative from the various uh, paint manufacturers to bring them in if we need uh, some additional uh, expertise to tell us you know which product will fare the best uh, on those individual situations. And we're getting to the top of our time, but I wanted to ask you this last question. What about <coughs> someone who has a deck and it needs stain? Is that do you do that kind of stuff too? We do. Uh, we do staining as well. Yeah. Okay. And, and again, uh, depending on uh, you know the, the wood deck or if it's even uh, you know concrete deck, uh, whether it's been done before, you know what, whatever we need to do, we do do a lot of staining though as well. And the last piece that I want to ask you is. There are a lot of older houses within Florida. Some have lattice work, I would think, um, with plaster over it, like the old kind of stuff that might have chips in it. So do you go in, you you spackle or plaster, and then pre and prep it, and then paint? Is that how it? Do? Yeah. The first thing we have to do on an exterior is pressure wash it. You know, we've got to get rid of all the. Um, the loose uh, contaminants on it, the chalkiness uh, from the previous paint job and things like that. Um, you know, we also want to look at uh, if there's any cracks or anything. 
uh, that we have to fill those cracks with maybe with an elastomeric compound. Um, you know, caulk the windows if they need that because we got to get a good seal on the house so moisture won't penetrate. So the main thing that we'll do is um, is we'll spray a, a Loxon primer on the uh, on the complete exterior. And what that does is it's a little bit tacky when it goes on, and that allows our, our top coat of paint to really you know stick uh, uh, firmly onto the uh, onto the home, and it will fill the hairline cracks and things so that we get a good good seal on everything. Okay. Lastly, if people want to get in touch with you, how will they find you? you have a website, phone number. They can go on our website, uh, Southern Sky Painting, you know, dot com, um, or they can give us a call. Uh, phone number is five six one eight one eight one two five eight. What areas do you work? Uh, we're certified painting contractors in both Palm Beach and Broward County. Okay, so you, I guess you have to be licensed in different counties. We do. Yeah, uh, outside those areas, we're not licensed. Um, you, know, you have to go through and uh, go through testing uh, and everything, and then uh, you know uh, just go through all the proper paperwork and everything, so that if somebody comes out, they you know we're licensed and insured, um, they don't have to worry. And that's one thing I talk about all the time. <clears throat> you know, just because Joe comes knocking on your door and says, "Hey, I can paint your house for fifty bucks," it's the businesses that are licensed insured and been around that you really want to deal with because they'll be there if there's a problem. They'll be there to take care of things that have to be taken care of. They're the ones that truly believe in their business Correct. and truly take um, pride in what they do because they're going to be around tomorrow. I, you know, we talk about it in my industry, you know, now everybody who has a smartphone thinks they're videographers and photographers. So you get it in all industries um, and it's the ones that do it the right way, the ones that you can find on SunBiz, the ones that you can find insurance on. Those are the ones you really want to deal with. I want to thank yeah. you. Oh, go ahead. I'm yeah, sorry. because you know, if, if you're not a licensed contractor, you cannot give a written proposal. So okay. they can only do a verbal proposal. And there's no recourse. I mean, you know, our license and, and our livelihoods at stake. Right. So the main thing is uh, you definitely want to deal with somebody who is, you know, a certified painting contractor. Um, you know, and, and our whole key is we show up when we say we're going to show up, we do what we say we're going to do, and we stand behind it. And that's the way it should be. You should always deal with the professional. Bob, thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me. Everybody check him out. Go to his website, southernskypainting.com. That's correct. You got it. We'll be right back.